We'll bring you back, darling. I promise. Victor Gray, what you're doing here is unthinkable! We have to stop you! No! I have to finish my experiments! We're back for another Grim Tales. Yes, I believe this is the 12th in the series. Let's have a quick peek over here at more games. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there you have it, folks. I have actually recorded every single one of these Grim Tales. Every one of them. And I can tell you that of the recent games, I really like Threads of Destiny and Crimson Hollow and Bloody Mary. And, oh my god, the air was good. I, oh, you know what? I liked all of them. <laughs> I think Bloody Mary might be my favorite. Maybe? I mean, I don't know. Crimson Hollow was really good, too. It's, Threads of Destiny was really awesome. I love that whole, like, final destination thing where, like, you think you avoid destiny, but it, it haunts you down. I, I really like that one. So, folks, honestly, if you're a hidden object puzzle adventure fan, you have to partake in the Grim Tale series, whether you play them or whether you watch them. I insist, you have to. Uh, they have started way back when, when, you know, kind of the beginning of the, the, the hype for Hidden Object Games to today. And you can see them evolve over time. But enough of that hype. Uh, I am a big fan of Grim Tales, and you'll see me fanboy throughout. I do want to say special hello to all the folks that are watching live. Team YouTube, the beautiful people at Hitbox, you got Beam Live, and we got Twitch. So I'm waving at you guys right now for reals. So we're gonna carry on here. We're gonna hit that play button. And unfortunately, yes, the Cray family has gone through a lot of turmoil for the last uh, 11 games, and so now 12. Casual mode, advanced, hardcore, and custom. The custom is cool. I mean, this is definitely a newer feature. For recent games. Hey Anna, your adventures inspired me to look into my ancestors. I haven't learned much about Victor Gray so far, other than he died under strange circumstances. I came to Grey Witch to learn more. I don't know how you put up with Richard. He's so unbearable. Wait, what's going on? It, it's. Okay, so a couple things there. Uh, Richard is a character uh, from the last couple. And uh, you'll find out that he's kind of a special character. <laughs> oh, look at how beautiful this looks. And that's another thing. So two things that Elephant Games, the developer, is known for. One is the sheer volume of stuff that we're going to get in our inventory. Two, gorgeous graphics. And then three, tricky puzzles. So those are the three things we can look forward to as we carry on through our adventures. Uh, there should be some collectibles. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll open up a uh, strategy guide right here and we'll find out what our collectibles are gonna be. And then you folks that are watching live, I'll expect you to be able to help out with this. So it looks like we have morphing objects, screen savers, dolls, Okay, screensavers and dolls. Interesting. Morphing objects, screensavers, and dolls. 
But we'll have to kind of see what that looks like here. Uh, so if you do spot the morphing objects, or any of these collectibles, do shout them out in the chat. And if you're watching this after the fact on YouTube and you spot a collectible, I think you should type it up in the comments, because lots of other folks will want to play along and get all the collectibles. It's basically a puzzle piece that I guess is making a screensaver. Oh, okay. <gasps> Look at this little buddy here! I think that might be a key. <laughs> Alright. You have to go to work? White midnight? Alright, well, be safe at work. So we've got some things here. Uh, I'll cut my hands on those sharp thorns. We don't want to do that. This is going to be the van we're going to be unlocking. Look at this puzzle. This puzzle has seen many games. Uh, geez. Wasn't this in Mystery Case Files? I feel like that's where that's from. Now, don't forget that Elfin Games, I think they did one or two of the uh, Mystery Case Files. Bates Carnival, I believe, and maybe one after that. The squirrel has a bad habit of stealing my keys. Thankfully, she always returns them in exchange for nuts. Uh, my, my own objective for playing hidden object games is get a crowbar as well. So there you go, we have that in common. <gasps> Thank you very much, beautiful, for uh, handing over the keys. You enjoy the rest of those nuts. Oh, did uh, Elephant Games did Dire Grove, Sacred Grove? Okay. We got glitter already in the glitter. I came to Grey Witch to find out what happened to my distant relative, Victor Grey. And we're gonna get some story exposition. He was a famous scientist, and everyone in the town worshipped him. Scientists. So what would be the? I guess they're just sort of sciencey things. But then he died under strange circumstances. And the town became desolate for some reason. We got... I guess this place is hiding some secrets. I heard about an experiment that took place here. Tourists often see a strange girl. She apparently looks a lot like me. <gasps> Maybe it's a sign. Maybe it's a double gang situation. I want to save my relative like Anna Gray does. Aw, she looks up to us. Anna Gray being the aunt, I believe. Unfortunately, Richard's driving me mad. That awful skull doesn't want to help me at all. The awful skull. All right, folks. So that's a little bit of a teaser of Richard. Luckily, I've studied rituals myself. I just know I'll be able to find answers by looking into the past. We now have this gauntlet so we can reach in and touch some stuff here. <gasps> it's a Craven. Get out of there, Craven. Look who we found. Hi, Lana. I'm glad to see you. Stacy doesn't appreciate her relatives at all. <laughs> so yes, we did just pick up a skull and yes, the ghost of Richard just appeared. I wanted to help her, but she kicked me out. I'm afraid something bad happened to her. We should hurry. Well, I guess he is sort of concerned for Stacy's well-being. That's kind of nice. Richard's had a bit of turn of his own. Uh, he was a nemesis for... Uh, it's one of the games. Stacy touched this, but I need a special device to collect her oral trace. Huh. Interesting. Stacy touched this, but I'll need a special device. Blah 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 blah. Okay, skeleton parts. Let's go over here and deal with this. We have to make a dancing skelly. Oh boy. The fact that they have these this at a different angle than this is. That's just not fair, game developers. Not fair. Ugh. I see. These look like they're both kind of inward. Or maybe not. 
Hey, this has to go out one. Yeah, we got one. True, true. I mean, by putting at a slight angle, that does make it a little more challenging, for sure. If without that, it would be a lot easier, yeah. I hear ya. We have to find Stacy's belongings and travel to the past. So, that has been a uh, theme throughout at least the last several Grim Tales, is this sort of stopping time, traveling in time. There is another puzzle piece. We're gonna have to put that together eventually. I need something sharp to cut through those. Another puzzle piece. So there is a sickle blade. Hello, blade. Welcome to the live stream. Welcome to anyone else that has just stopped by. And if you're new, special welcome for uh, hanging out with us. And if you're an experienced viewer, very special welcome for coming back and enjoying our time together. Because it is our time together to play video games. We've got one out of three of those, and we've got chalk. Hmm. That's interesting. Maybe we can use our sickle here. You're going to the Outback Steakhouse? Oh my gosh, it's a, one of my favorite American restaurants. So, why am I still able to be here? I mean, I'm kind of not sure. Ah, oh, I see, okay, so another one of the Stacy's imprints. So we've got candles and chalk and what out of three horse bits. So that's good. It's kind of quiet. All you hear is the wind. <whistles> hmm. Uh, Blade, uh, I don't even remember what you said in the last live stream, so I guess I. It probably doesn't matter, does it? We got candles! We need chalk, which we do have. We're going to go ahead and draw those symbols. Somehow we knew them. And we have whatever this is all about. So we're going to have to go and deal with this puzzle here. Okay, folks. So basically, we've got to make this go through here. So D is first. I. Then N. Then it would be... M L L W I Nope, that's not it at all. Oh man, these puzzles are so challenging. So what where did I screw up? I wasn't even paying attention. So that has got to be I. And then that has to be N. So... And D. Why wouldn't that be mined? Hmm. So let's, let's just see what we got here. I'm just going to go ahead and force this to... So what's happening here then? So somehow that I is not behaving. Why? That would go there. Why isn't this right? Oh, okay. I'm not sure what I did the first time, but whatever. I made that seem a little harder than it really was. Go ahead and put that over there and cut our way into here. We gotta collect these four stones. They're gonna come in super duper handy. 